Hello, my name is Mark Duncan, and I'm running as Oregon's next governor. I want to take a second and tell you about me. So here I go. First and foremost, I was born here in Oregon. I was born in Lakeview in 1977. I've traveled all over Oregon. I've lived in Lakeview, Klamath, St. Helens, Portland, Newport. I've lived everywhere, all over Oregon. <clears throat> now, with that in mind, I started school here in Oregon, elementary school. Ended up, ended up becoming an award of the state because my mother was an alcoholic. Much of the lack of jobs at the time. My mom, I can remember pulling out of bars when I was too young to cook. I can remember learning how to take care of myself and sometimes even my older brother during those nights. My dad had left us at an early age. My mom was attempting to raise two boys herself. My dad came back into my life only to swoop me up, move me to California, to enroll me into an overcrowded school system, which was primarily filled with illegals or undocumented, if you, if you will. I graduated despite all odds, despite the gang-infested violence, the drugs, the addictions, despite all the objects in front of me, I graduated. And it taught me a lot. A lot about how politics is, and a lot about seeing how things are ran around me, about illegal immigration and the effects of such in schools and health care and even welfare. My first job was picking weeds in giant potato fields in Tule Lake, California. Spent hours on my hands and knees picking weeds. Started at 4 a.m. every day. I did this for about three years until I decided it was time to go back to school. I enrolled right back here in Oregon. I enrolled in college. I majored in history, minored in law, and then I took psychology for fun. I was on the dean's list, the president's list, held a 3.5 every term and semester I've ever went to college. College was too easy, it was fun for me. I got out of college. I decided to chase a dream. I became a fighter, a professional fighter. I went all over the state, representing Klamath, my home, and then I traveled all over the country representing Oregon, my state. I have a, I, I created a massive fan base because of all the hurdles that I overcame to get to where I was. But it wasn't easy. I got up every day at 2 a.m. Started training by 3, by 4 a.m. I was in the gym working hard, sweating. And often Lee didn't get home until 6 or 7 at night. Hard work and dedication built my career. It sent me all over <clears throat> this country, representing this state. During this time, I mentored children, opened up my gym to underprivileged kids or at risk. Along with, taught, along with that, I taught self-defense, trained firefighters, and even, and even soon-to-be military on conditioning. 
I was heavily and still am heavily invested in my community. When I walk around Klamath Falls, everybody knows me, says hi to me, and comes up and greets me. This has given me a sense and a purpose. I've seen the foster care system. I've seen the kids at risk because of addiction and jails and overcrowding system. It's given me a purpose to give back to my communities. Now it's given me a purpose to give back more. After over a decade and a half of fighting, of traveling around, I decided to open up my own gym. Where again, I mentored and all of that, but I also trained soon to be fighters. I've boxed, I kickboxed, I did MMA. I chased my dream and loved every step of it. I've seen the politics on the industry, on the fighting industry, the athletic industries, the sporting industries. I've seen so many flaws traveling around from town to town, county to county, state to state. What Oregon needs is a governor who's been there, who's done that, who can get up every day and bust his ass or her ass every day in order to fix this state, to redeem this state. What, what Oregon needs is a no-nonsense governor who's going to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody who's not only, not only um, mentally assaulting but characterly assaulting a candidate. And you need somebody who's going to stand up and propose an, a true argument instead of just caving. You need somebody who can unite the counties here in Oregon. Who can break down the walls of sanctuary. Somebody who's going to give the truth when asked. That somebody is me. You see, now I'm chasing another dream. My dream is to become Oregon's next governor. My dream is to redeem this state, to end the socialism, to end the overtaxation, to end the, the, the sanctuary that surrounds Portland and condemns the rest of the state. We need to bring jobs in, industries in, and think about our futures. Oregon could become a home for industry, for factories, and such. I want to employ jobs that will attract our youth as well. Protect our gun rights, along with all the other rights that we are deserved as American citizens. That is my objective as Oregon's next governor. So I'm asking you to please follow me. Subscribe to my channel. Look for me. YouTube, Facebook, Google+. My Redeem page, Redeem Oregon page is on Facebook. I'm on Twitter um, and Instagram. Look, Mark Duncan, Duncan for Governor, Redeem Oregon, you'll find me. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and God bless. Duncan out.